All right, so how am I doing after just coming home with those last two videos I put up of engaging a woman who um, didn't want to acknowledge that she had to answer to anyone for wanting to promote murdering a baby? Um, honestly, it brought back some memories I've had of a forced abortion and people not wanting to take accountability for their actions, not wanting to um, seriously deal with the truth of it. Um, you know, and it made me really angry. It really did. It made me so angry. I felt like I could rip someone's head off to know that people think it's okay to mistreat a woman and a baby and kill them. <clears throat> and it brought me to tears. And I actually cried and got out some of that anger that I felt toward um, this whole issue. When someone's been mistreated at a very deep le level, very deep, um, it's almost like a forced abortion later on is almost like a rape. Your innocence was taken away. The child's you lost a child, You the child lost life, it is huge. So it's not something to be taken lightly. And, you know, I'm just gonna share this with other women who may have struggled with this, seeing the ignorant abortion, you know, protesters. Um, you know, I think about Christ and he went through the worst death ever. And I think of the story of Joseph, you know, where they meant it for evil and God meant it for good. Um, those people who crucified Christ on the cross, we have evidence of the cruci him being crucified, people being crucified. Um, it's an awful way to die. And we know that people did die that way for the smallest things. Um, some of them, you know, just for theft or whatever. And to die that way is awful, but to think of Christ who was whipped and a crown of thorns put in his head, he was treated worse than any other person in death. So <clears throat> when we think about how all these people thought they were doing God a favor to kill Christ, to be able to get what they thought was God's will to kill somebody who they thought was a false uh, prophet or somebody claiming to be God who was not they they were make they were very mistaken and when we think about how you know um, <clears throat> everything is for our good as Christians even Christ dying on the cross had a happy ending the reason why he died is to save people and you know we are his treasure and he has redeemed us so even though the spiritual forces and the spiritual darkness um, definitely wanted him down and actually thought that they got him. Um, God had a plan. God had a better plan for redemption. And that's where a lot of times when we have gone through things, we need to remember that everything works out for our good. And for me, just, you know, getting it out some more and then giving it to God and saying, you know what, I can trust you. You're going to deal with this. You're going to hold them accountable and letting God fight for you. So after I went by the second time, I had to go back another time to get to where I was going. I mean, I could have taken another way, to be honest. I could have taken the long way, but I wanted to know if they were still there. And I actually just put on praise music because at this point, there were um, people who supported abortion on every single corner. And I felt like I was just driving through the midst of it. And I put on praise music and remembered that God is the one who's got this. He's the one who fights the battle. So when something um, for a woman has happened like this, the answer is to trust God. And, you know, definitely there are wounds and there are people who are evil and actually meant to be evil. They weren't doing it for your good. They actually... With abortion, a lot of parents just want, they don't want to deal with a kid. They don't like kids. They don't want to deal with you. They'd rather kick you out. They'd rather, uh, they don't care. They just don't. They want to save face. They want to protect themselves. They want to protect their reputation in the community. 
they like to get the guy to be able to get out of responsibility and give him a chance and make the girl take all the blame and all the responsibility for everything. Someone has to be a scapegoat. And a lot of those times when you have abortion, you're coming from an abusive family because abortion is abuse and the people are doing it for their own sake to cover themselves. So when you've had people in your life like that and abortion just brings it out, um, you can know God's going to deal with them. There's no question about it. And hopefully they come to know Christ and they will get saved. But many times they don't, and it's going to be a sad situation for those who are promoting abortion because God is going to deal with it. He has allowed it to happen right now for some reason, and I'm not sure why, but he will deal with those who promote evil. So we can just trust him and know that we can be thankful that um, God's got this for us, and he provides and takes care of us.